Hello, my name is Brandon Rios, and my topic for my topic for this project is what is chloroform and what is more importantly, what are its uses? A little bit of a basic chemical makeup of it, or at the very least, I have the information on the presentation and the side effects it has on the human body. Chloroform is a chemical compound that we typically find in substances that are meant for uh, solvents, such as lacquers, four polish, resins, etc. We'll talk on this more in a later slide. Though there is a common myth about this that I will touch on a little bit, that chloroform is typically used to, how should you say, knock people out because it does have an effect that can cause unconsciousness. But again, we'll come upon that later in the presentation when we talk about the side effects that it has on the human body. As you can see right here, the chemical compound, this is the chemical, this is the Lewis structure of chloroform, which is CHCl3. That is the chemical makeup of it. <laughs> And as you can see, again, in the image, we do have the Lewis structure here as a bit of a precaution. The slide previous from the Lewis structure actually did have the, the way the compound would look like on a piece of paper. This is the basic information that we have for chloroform. Its cast number is 67, 66, and 3. The chemical formula is CHCl3. In uh, its carnogenicity, which is a B2 portable, um, probable human uh, carcinogen, MCL drinking water, 0 0.07 milligrams, which is how much chloroform is typically, typically would be found in any drinking water, as in any level above there, as in such a low level, it will not cause any human, ri any risk to the human body from consumption of the water. At higher levels, this does become more dangerous, and it does become much more deadly to the human body. The OSHA standards, which is 50 ppm, 9.778 mg slash meter cubed, a milligrams meter cubed. The NIOSH standard is 2 ppm, 9.78 milligrams meter cubed. And it has a 10 ppm, 8 hour time weighted average. As you can see here in the image in the lower left hand corner, this image is more so of a, a simple bottle where you can po possibly find chloroform in. And chloroform itself, how it looks like physically, how we would see it normally, it is a colorless liquid that is that uh, has a non-irritating smell to it and surprisingly yeah, it does have a slightly sweet taste this is a bit of a typo i meant to change smell from taste but it does have a sweet taste to it and supposedly a sweet smell to it and more interesting fact, it is actually a non-flammable, which in its own is quite interesting. I did not know that about chloroform until until I started working on this project. As stated in the first slide, this is a solvent. It does help dissolve, it does assist in dissolving substances with other solvents to make it much easier. Areas in which you can find chloroform, mostly since this is a man-made material, you'll mostly find it more inland. But you can find at least very, very minimal dose, dosages and well, minimal levels. In find you can find this in the air and coastal waters, inland rivers, and lakes and groundwater. But so you have you're more safe in those areas with the chloroform levels there, since it is much lower than it would be in the next areas. But these these next areas have much higher concentrations 
and much, much higher levels of chloroform, which typically found in industrial areas and air above the swimming pool containing chlorine. Now, this does not mean that this is very dangerous for you, as you can go to the pool just fine, not really be affected. Chloroform does have many uses, thankfully. One of the primary uses is that it's a solvent assistant. So it helps dissolve substances, as, as I stated in the first couple slides. If you look on your if you look on the right of your screen, these are what these are more, or should I say, these are examples of where you will find uh, chloroform and its uses. It's used for buildings paper and board industries, pesticides, so you do have them in your house somewhere. You do have, it's also used in film production, which is fairly interesting. Those are the more, these are more uses that are done with home and outside of your house. The ones below those three are more for industrial and again, home purposes, as in lacquers, floor polish, resins, adhesives, alkaloids, fats, oils, and rubber. But this was not used just for these. Today we use chloroform as these type as, today we do use chloroform as the, as the list states. But in the mid 1900s, it is known that science, that doctors actually use chloroform as an anesthetic because it does dumb down. It does make nerves much dumb, much more dumbed down and less and makes them makes the patients less susceptible to pain. But that was before that they knew the side effects that it had on the human body. Today we don't use chloroform as an anesthetic because of the dangers it has onto the human body. The ways you can become exposed to chloroform, the most common is by breathing it in. And extended period, an extended period of being in an area full of chloroform and or consuming it and touching it does cause does cause some more effects on the human body. But the most common way you're going but the most common way you can become exposed to it is through breathing. Less common is drinking, eating, and the very uncommon is touching it. So chloroform has a very negative effect on the human body, as the as the screen states. High doses and expanded period of time being in an area full of chloroform and or consuming chloroform for an extended period and in high dosages cause Liver can cause liver and kidney damage, brain damage, and it even can cause cancer. Taking in chloroform from your respiratory system, it will cause headaches, brain damage, liver, and kidney damage, along with a possible cause of cancer. Drinking this will only cause liver and kidney damage. Eating it, similar to the drinking, but when you're touching it, this is very different as you will get sores and your body will become very irritated from coming into contact physically with chloroform. And like all the other ways, it is a chance that you are, that you are able to contract cancer from it. More harmful effects of chloroform is that becoming exposed to chloroform as I stated on the previous slides, can cause liver damage, which will lead to hepatitis, brain, kidney, heart, and even bone marrow damage. Taking it, taking it in through the, respiratory, through the respiratory system can cause respiratory depression and pneumotus edema, which can cause, which is lung cancer, or at least it can cause lung cancer as Breathing it in can cause cancer, like the other forms. Chloroform is also very toxic to the human nervous system, as the human nervous system tends to start to numb down, and it can cause unconsciousness on the on the person afflicted by uh, 
uh, chloroform. Chloroform is nothing to be messed with, especially when it's in high and lethal dosages, because it, it can become fatal with a high enough dose and, ex and high enough, or at least an extended period of time with chloroform. And that's where movies typically get this idea that chloroform takes minutes to knock someone out. That is actually false because it will cause brain damage and